I was devastated when I heard Kirsty passed. It was so unexpected and so shocking. Um, her zest for life was enormous. So when I heard that she passed, it really stopped me. And the whole day I was, uh, and still today, absolutely less myself because someone I cared about passed. Um, and you couldn't help but love Kirsty, no matter if you agreed with her or disagreed with her. She really made you love her. So I'll miss that love. The first time I met Kirsty, we were doing It Takes Two, and she invited me over to her house. And I know Parker was there. I'm not sure if Lily was there, but I know True was there. So uh, she said that she found out my favorite sandwich, which was tuna on rye. She said, I've got tuna on rye ready for you. And she said, do you like to go bouncy? And I said, sure. So we went in the backyard and they ha she had this bouncy set up for the kids. Um, and uh, she said, by the way, I'm a very gentle soul. And, um, and I said, uh, well, great. Yeah. And uh, I really, I knew her a little bit because of um, Ted Danson and Woody Harrelson on Cheers. I'd visit there uh, and I got to meet her several times. So she's a, just such a force of nature. So anyway, we went on this bouncy and we were bouncing up and down with True and having a really good time. She said, you know, Gutenberg, this isn't enough bouncy. And I said, well, what do you want to do? And she said this, and she jumped on one side of the bouncy, which she knew what was going to happen. And I literally flew right off the bouncy, probably 50 feet in the air, and hit this huge shrub. And I sunk right into the middle of the shrub. I couldn't get out. So she came over there and she said, Gutenberg, I know this is how it's going to go, the whole picture. So she got some shears and started cutting me out of this, this shrub, this huge shrub, which actually had a lot of thorns. And uh, she pulled me out of this shrub and she said, I told you, I'm a gentle soul. And, um, and for the rest of the, the film, we just had a great time. I remember she said, um, she said, look, during, we had a food fight. And she said, look, during this food fight, you know, I want nobody to get hurt and I don't want it to be, you know, very rough. And I said, okay. But she actually had a little deal with Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen that they were gonna just gang up on me hard. And we had this on-camera food fight where the three of them just hit me. And Kirsty came over to me with a big pile of giant mashed potatoes and stuffing and everything, just shoved, shoved it in my face and didn't stop pushing it into my face until the camera said cut. Um, and uh, after every one of these incidents, she always said, I told you, I'm a gentle soul. So... I, I think that the world is a lot dimmer now that she's not here. She was a really soulful, full of life, force of nature, trying to make the world a better place every day, speaking her mind and, and having a lot of fun. So I, uh, we've kept in touch and I'm so sorry that this happened and I'm so sorry for her family. And, the, and her children that this occurred. She really was one of the lights. So I'm so sorry that this happened. Probably my favorite scene was when my character fell off a horse, got hit in the head by this branch and she had to very gently take care of the wound. And I posted that photo on my Instagram. This is really my favorite scene with her where she really was a gentle soul. She had great empathy and compassion. She was somebody who felt, had the ability to feel what you felt. And that's why I think she was such a compelling actress and so interesting to watch. And I'll tell you this about Kirsty: She was all about the work. She loved to have a good time, but she was a serious actress. She took her work and her craft seriously. She wanted to make every scene the best scene that it could be. She didn't phone it in ever. So during that scene, she really gave me a great 
a great point of view of the emphasis she has on acting and craft. So it was just great. Well, I would I would describe her as a a calm, beautiful, placid lake inside an active volcano. She on the outside was somebody who was full of life and exhibited that all the time. But inside, she was a very serious person. She took her family very seriously. She took her children very seriously. She took her religion very seriously and her work. She took it quite seriously and the people she worked with. So I, I would say that she's absolutely a, one of the special people that God made. Everybody should remember her in their own individual way. Whether you knew her or admired her, admired her work, just remember her as someone who got up every day and tried to make the world a better place. <laughs>